Hello? Hello? Takito Taco Bell? Hey gang. It's Annie and Jesse. Ah, ah. Welcome back to your daily dose of chaos. Today we are going on an adventure. We are going to Trader Joe's. Jess has been there. I've never been there. So we're going to do a taste test of a bunch of different snacks and goodies as like a kind of back to school haul. Shit's bossing. Pack them in your little lunchy lunch on your way to classy class. Get it. It's really hot. Can we go? Yeah. All right. all right, let's go. Right, Mask up, guys. Right. Like, it's so hot, can we walk faster? Trader hose, but can we walk faster? It's so hot. Smile back. Imagine me carrying drinks to like a table. <laughs> nope, couldn't do it. Cheers. Today, my sister, my sibling and I went to Trader Joe's and we got a lot of stuff, but we got like munchy type of foods because we know that Trader Joe's has the best munchies. We got some drinks, we got some chips, we got some desserts. The whole three course of the snacking. Let's get started. <laughs> so yes. first, she's very thirsty. Well, let's pour this juice. It's the spicy mango lemonade. I don't like spicy, <laughs> but you like spicy, but not spicy food. It smells good. Take a shot. Oh, ew. This oh. is so spicy. My throat is burning. My nose is where I feel it. The fire. <gasps> <laughs> I'll drink it. No, wait. I don't think it's that spicy. I didn't like it. It tastes really good at first. But the spiciness like burns after. Yeah. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna rate this like a one out of ten. It's a five out of ten. Like it could go either way on whether or not I eat that again. Eat it. I taste no mango. I taste spice and lemonade. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Where's the mango? I feel like I'm not wine spice. tasting. This was made from white grapes. All right. Ready? Cheers. It's really sweet. I don't taste cucumber at all. I don't even think it tastes like watermelon. I'd have to water it down. I thought it was gonna be like really fresh, like a watermelon. It's not. Yeah, like a four out of ten. Honestly, oh. this like, looks pretty good. I'm gonna be disappointed if it's not. Banana and almond butter, and it's like coconut water too. Let's Should be really try creamy. It. Welcome to Jessica's cafe. Ew! Why is it grainy? Do we get to do a shot? I think this would be good if you like blended it in a smoothie, but I would never drink this on its own. It's gross. I don't I give like this sweet. like a four two. I give this like a three and I don't like it. It's kind of like sits in your mouth. We're gonna switch to foods. Now we have the crisp, crunchy crisp. They're pea and chick pea snacks. Like Cheez Its. Well, that's cheddar. what my hope was. If they're not Cheez Its, I'm gonna be disappointed. Alright, cheddar. Why does it smell? Oh, that smells terrible. It smells like tires. It's like ass. It sucks. Two out of ten. <laughs> These are basic. They're the everything but the bagel seasoning that everyone's obsessed with. All right, let's try it. Hmm, it's pretty good. Not on board. I'm not the person who puts everything but the bagel seasoning on everything. Like you know how like people like Emma Chamberlain's like putting it on her eggs and shit. Like everyone's doing that. I used to. Or their avocado, like they put on everything. I used to do that. I don't think it tastes good not on the bacon. It tastes like you're eating like just normal chips, my opinion. I'd give these a six out of ten. Oh, I'm excited for these. Lentil and potato, like crisp, curls, whatever. I like lentils. <laughs> lentils are healthy for you. Oh my god, wait, I these are so cute though. They remind me of like veggie straws, the taste. Five out of ten. Yeah, I guess the bagel chips are better because they're chips. Hair. Looks like a piggy tail. If you have curly hair, try them. <laughs> now we have some plant based spicy pork. Snack rinds. Pork rinds are like made out of pigs. <laughs> Even before I went vegan, I had never tried these. So this is my first time having a pork rind. Is that what they're supposed to taste like? <laughs> they're good, but they're spicy. Jet. Wait, no. I mean, if you like pork rinds and you like spicy, I'm sure you'll like this. They were not crunchy. They were soft. And I don't know if that's what a pork rind is supposed to be like. I'd say three out of ten. They're just too spicy. Now we have the jerk <laughs> style plantation chips with a birdie. This is Scotty. I like jerk. <laughs> jerk. <laughs> Yeah. It's my favorite so far. I like these, yeah. I hated everything. They're a little spicy because mm -hmm. the jerk they have a pick, but I'd say like a 7, 8 out of 10. But these are the, the best spice. so far. Spice. Yeah, I'm gonna give them an 8. <laughs> These are white truffle potato chips. People are obsessed with truffle. It's like very fancy. I'm in Iowa. They don't sell that shit out here. Oh my god, look. They're huge. I wasn't expecting that. So it basically tastes like mushroom. 
don't really like it. It's kind of weird. Mm, it's kind of good, kind of bad. <gasps> I don't understand the hype about the truffle. Like, maybe these just aren't the best thing, but it tastes like mushroom. Like, what's so special? I'd give them five. Dill popcorn. They have dill pickle chips, too, but I was like, you know what? I've had dill pickle chips before, but I've never seen dill pickle popcorn, so I was like, we have to get the popcorn. And it reminded me of rug rat. Holy, the smell. I like that they're, like, fluffy. Oh, it's like you're eating a pickle popcorn. It's not bad. They're kind of good. This might be one of the best. Just spice it up, yeah. Popcorn's healthy. Go for it. I like an eight. I would buy this. I actually like it better than pickle chip. I think it goes better with the popcorn. It's kind of nice. It's soft like a pickle. A little bit of corn like a pickle. Look at him. Look how happy he is. He's dancing. That's it's really like good. Big thing. We got a Willy Wonka bar now. <laughs> we did Willy go. Willy Wonka bar. Do you think we're going to get to go to the chocolate factory? Golden well, ticket. I think Violet should have won. Not Charlie. She just like was sacrificing herself for science basically. <laughs> oh my god. That's a whole pound of chocolate. So what are we going to do with this? Like, it's literally huge. It's kind of cool. I feel like that's <laughs> pretty good. I give it 9 out of 10. Mountain Plus. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's stable. It got the job done. <laughs> pretty damn good. Sperm. Scandinavian swimmers. Super sour. Sperm. Men birth control. Oh my god, what if that's what they marketed male birth control as? I get the gummy. They eat the gummy before the day that they want to get busy. Get down. It's like Fred Flintstone gummy. Oh my god. What color would you like? Why wouldn't I want orange? Orange, hello. Um, Matches my pants. I'll go with red. Mine's kind of Patrick Star. We've got the Martian. The Martian. Vegan Scoop gummies. Whatever. They're not super sour. They kind of remind me of Sour Patch Kids and they're kind of good. Good thieves. And if you want to look more elite, like high class, good thieves. If you want to be more manly. <laughs> Can't even swimmers out now. They're good. I give them ten. What's like for candy? candy? I think I would eat those all. And I liked them because they were thicker, more like Swedish fish. Mm -hmm. Like they were meaty. They were so good. These are pretty typical. I okay. think a lot of people get these. I don't these. like how I thought they were gonna be bigger. They're fucking mini Reese's. It's like a mini Reese's sunflower. They're pot. not regular Reese's. They're dark chocolate. I don't understand the hype. Oh well, I guess if you're allergic to peanut butter, mm. it's missing the flakiness of like a peanut butter cup. Mm -hmm. It's like too creamy. Mm -hmm. It's good enough. Like a. Seven. They were expensive though. Like I wouldn't buy them again. I mean, like they're good, so I guess a seven is fair. But I just wouldn't buy them. There's like not that many in there. There's like ten. <laughs> All right. So we've got something from New Zealand. <laughs> it's black licorice. Oh my god! You think it'll make our mouths wet? New Zealand men hit us up. <laughs> I don't know. I like this. Who oh spread it? Really? I'm gonna take. <laughs> <laughs> Siblings are dating. <laughs> Wait, what's in it? Is that how it's supposed to be? It's not bad. It's not as good as red licorice. I don't know, like black licorice is really polarizing. It doesn't taste like much. Like it's very dull. Like I thought it was gonna be like a strong, weird flavor. It's so so. Okay, I need a minute to like eat this stupid licorice. It takes like a long time to chew, like holy fuck. It's gross. The way the licorice goes on your mouth, honestly, the mouth feel. Mm -hmm. Is mine. It's gross. It's so gross. I feel stupid buying some of these snacks. Buy plain snacks. Oh my god, Jess, I can't get it out. Like, I almost need some of my teeth. This is a video of what not to buy. We got like two good things. Now we're gonna try Fig's cookie. They're gonna be like those little Nutra bars that have like the strawberry jam. The strawberry jam. Why are they? <laughs> They're so stuck. What the fuck? Like Lincoln Logs. Do we need there. a knife? Cheers. Looks like poop poopy bread. Feel, hmm. It's it's really for your mouth that it's stuck in the middle of my mouth. I can't get like I I'm trying to push it down. I can't get it down. Help! It's stuck in here. Mom! Like my fingers are sticky. You're gonna choke. I only got half of it. I don't want to put my finger in there. <laughs> These are messy. Okay, so I got the mass of it off, but there's still a layer stuck in my mouth. Those are really tasty, but for the stickiness alone, because my fingers are sticky, <laughs> they're still stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are really sticky. <laughs> you look like you. <laughs> Those are freaking amazing tasting, but for the stickiness, oh we couldn't get them out of the container. They're stuck to my mouth. Basically, my fingers are sticky. So I would not buy them again for the experience, but those are tasty. So I'm gonna give them five. They deserve five, but the experience was that bad. It was kind of gross. Just how bad it was. Huh? <laughs> this better be good. This was the only baked item that was vegan. I checked like every label. Like I looked at every stupid muffin and there was nothing. So this better be good. Mine's better. I think homemade banana bread just make it. It's so easy. Oh. 
I mean, it's good, but it's, yeah, it tastes basic. I, I mean, would say, like, 5 out of 10. It's, no, it's, like, good, like, 7 out of 10, but the price, I'm just buying. I don't think it's that good. It's kind of boring. It's actually kind of, like, really boring. It's not really banana -y. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, was there one banana in there? I put, like, four when I make one. No bananas. We should, for our next recipe, make banana bread. Make banana bread, yeah. I don't like cheesecakes. It's vegan I'm for me. It's like microwave of dinner. Cheers. <laughs> Nothing is good. Like, what the hell? Like, what are these Emma Chamberlain California people eating? Whole foods. It's not bad. I'm far for that. It doesn't taste terrible. It's just kind of boring. It's doable. I kind of like it, actually. I'm not, I'm not lying. I would give this, like, an 8. I think I would eat this all. I obviously don't like it. <laughs> No. The actual taste is better than those Daya cheesecakes because the mm -hmm. Daya cheesecakes have like a weird aftertaste. Mm -hmm. The texture was like ice creamy. Yeah. I didn't, that was weird. Not as like cheesecakey. But sure, and not have cheesecake factory vibes. This is probably the most authentic vegan cheesecake I've had. I just don't like sweets. So. If you like cheesecake, go for it. If you like cheesecake factory cheesecake that has like literally sugar on sugar on sugar, then you'll like that. <laughs> go get it, girly. Go get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is not good for my stomach. <laughs> This is, yeah. This uh, is mochi, but it's vegan. It's mm. Pokemon food. It's kind of like the new thing. Okay, now the mango. <laughs> now the mango mochi. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like belly butt. This tastes mango-y. That uh, mango lemonade tasted yeah. no mango. I like this because I like mango taste. It doesn't taste like typical mochi, but it's actually like really good. Because typical mochi is harder. It's probably because it's vegan. Because mm -hmm. regular mochi has like animal shit. I don't know how they make it. <laughs> I like this. It's super good. I would eat all these 10. And they're mini. These are really good. I'm really good. Tastes like you're eating frozen mango. All right. They're, this is the one that Anna's excited for. First off, they're bad. I'm going to freak out because everything's been bad so far. What so if you remember bonbons, bonbons rugrats. Oh, the video game. There are these bonbons and Chucky is obsessed with the bonbons in my whole life. I have visualized these cartoon bonbons in my head. I'm going to put the cartoon bonbons in here from Rugrats. And I have wanted to try these stupid cartoon, <laughs> these stupid Rugrat bonbons. Yeah, so I'm obsessed. Never have had a bonbon. And these are like cookies and cream. Oh, they're cute. Oh, it's ice cream. Oh, bon bon. I'm saying bon yeah, She's saying like, what? like one. Time. I don't even know what they are. Yeah, they're wontons. They taste like a dilly bar. Whoa. It tastes exactly like the Dairy Queen vegan dilly bar. I'm disappointed. I've been waiting 20 years for a bon bon. Yeah, but for vegan, like. But is that what a bon bon supposed to taste like, though? I'm not saying uh -huh. this is bad. I'm saying bon bons are bad. I'm taking the stand. I don't like I'm that. Not uh, the chocolate's the one part I like. Is this what a bonbon is? Is ice cream covered in chocolate? Because that's fucking boring. Mm -hmm. I thought a bonbon was like this delicious baked good. It's fine. Nah. Can you give it like an eight? No. Like a five. <laughs> if you want a vegan dilly bar. It's better, yeah. better than the vegan dilly bar because it has cookie. The yeah. dilly bar at Dairy Queen is so lame. They need to add something. They're boring. Spice it up. I want to eat these again. All right, so we lied. We're doing top five. It's funny because it's actually the only five things we liked because everything over here is either average or sucks. Yeah. First, talk about our experience. Customer service is amazing there. I think it's a hit or a miss. I think every time I go there, I get a few things. Ours is really small, though. I'm like five aisles. Oh, really? Like, the, okay. You were there. I wow. feel like I've seen bigger ones. But it's not bad. You kind of go there for a surprise because like there's always something new. We're in Iowa, so I don't think they had a lot of vegan food. I'm not impressed with the snacks based on the experience. Like, just because most of them weren't good. I feel like if I bought, like, 20 different snacks that most of them should have been good. Yeah. But also, it was too crowded. I couldn't film anything. There were a million people. Like, I would have just been filming a bunch of soccer moms picking up their crap. Mm -hmm. Finding the right queso. All right. Okay, let's do top five. So first, these are our two favorite chip items, which is interesting because she didn't want me to get either of these. I know. <laughs> and they're the two best. She was like, no. And then everything we picked out was bad. So we got the dill popcorn and the jerk plantain chips. Get these. These were fire. Then candies. This I'm just giving like an honorable mention because it's just a chocolate bar. There's nothing special about it. But the fact that it was good and it's like a pound. It's from Belgium. I was impressed. And it's Belgium. vegan. If you need a whole pound of chocolate good deal why not um, these though were actually good men's birth control i'd eat these all like one sitting and then you'd never get pregnant ever again it'd be like getting an iud they're not too sour they're scared <laughs> of sour but yeah no iud it and then good. the best dessert is the mango mochi the other two desserts were not great they were like fine but this is like fire like this was a 10 out of 10 item like you have to get this yeah. whether you're vegan or not when you need something fresh and you need something sweet this is so good. perfect and it's a really hot day so we could eat these we yeah. could just pop them like pills the mango yeah. like melted so good felt like this i think was it. the best item 
in like life. everything was good, but this I think is number one. <laughs> we're having two different stuff. You weren't always having two different conversations. We're always in sync, but we're not. Like Overall, Trader Joe's, honestly, I think it's overrated. We could just be like one of the only Trader Joe's in Iowa, so it's like a shitty one. I wanna go to Whole Foods. Let's not if you want us to go to Whole Foods. I think it'd be better. If I was going back in there, I, yeah. I probably wouldn't try new things. I'm, I'm afraid now. Less of the <laughs> just, you know, buy whatever you don't think looks good, it'll probably what? be good. No, uh, here's what you do. You watch other people's videos, you watch what they eat, and they like you by that. You do not try the new things. Yeah, those You are let right. someone else try for you, and don't because, buy and waste your money. Yeah, some of these just sucks. Greater overall experience. Four. Six out of ten. <laughs> Four out of five. <laughs> I was like, I'll be nice. I guess we wanted it to be, like, maybe find some good snacks for college, but it didn't really work out like that. Unless you want Moki at, after you've bar crawled or something. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel to see more chaotic content. It's exciting and fun. Comment below what you want us to do next. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. 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 bye.